been so easy to make money in private equity the last few years. Money is basically free. It's cheap, if not free. You borrow money at nothing. You buy a company. You take out the cash flow. You issue debt. You rinse, wash, repeat. Do it again. Is this rate hike enough to kill some of the weaker private equity players out there? Uh, not, not all by itself, no. This alone is not enough. And this is really... I was asked a big question. I don't know a big answer. How much more? How far will it go? That's what matters. You know, this one by itself won't make that much difference. You know, if we have big hikes over a long period of time, big increases in interest rates, and what well, you would expect with that, um, you know, a hit to the equity markets, it, it is going to separate, you know, the sheep from the goats to a significant degree. How much do you expect the cost of capital to go up, say, in the next 12 to 24 months? Not right now, Chris, but looking out, because that's what you plan for. How much will capital cost two years from now? Oh, I, I don't. I don't have a useful prediction on that. But you know, if, it, and of course, it, it, it spreads out in a lot of different ways. You have how much do treasuries cost, and how much does high yield debt cost, and how much does equity cost? And a very important factor also is where do equities trade. It's not just how much cap. Well, I guess that is how much capital costs. You know, you big corrections. What's going to make a big difference to private equity? Chris, just taking a look, I mean, trying to figure out your positions on some of these things. Again, you were right. You called for this very early on with fintech, said that this was going to be happening last May. We have seen a lot of that pain pay off. Would this be a sector that you wouldn't necessarily short at this point? Uh, I think there's still some air on that bubble with fintech myself. Um, I guess my central forecast would be that inflation won't get out of hand. We'll, we'll have some rate hike increases. We will have some higher interest rates, but it will be of a, of a size where business will be okay. The equity markets will be okay. Business will be okay. And then fintech, I think still some of the air is going to come out of the bubble. Yes, especially the fintechs that lose money and rely on raising additional equity to try to build out their story. Those are the ones that are the most vulnerable. Those are the weakest ones. But that sounds like your overall thesis is that the equity market is, is still a good place to be. Yeah, I think an okay place to be. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. Not a catastrophe to be.